Have you ever wanted to be able to transcribe audio for free quickly and easily? Today, you're in luck. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to use OpenAI's Whisper to transcribe a Microsoft's earnings call. And we're also going to summarize that earnings call and analyze the sentiment. If this is something that you're interested in, please hit the like and the subscribe and let's get coding. Let's start by getting OpenAI's Whisper installed. It's very easy to do. We'll prepend bang in front of pip so that way we can get pip to run in our virtual environment. Install, we'll upgrade all existing packages, OpenAI Whisper. I'm not going to run this because I've got it already installed. And then loading the model is really easy. The most challenging thing is deciding which model you want. Here you can see all of the various model types. I'll just use base, but if you have something more complicated or want more accuracy, you can use a larger model. We'll import Whisper. And then model equals Whisper load model base. You'll notice I don't have an API key because everything is running locally. However, OpenAI released yesterday the Whisper API endpoint, if that's something you would rather use, but I'd rather keep the audio here and do it for free. Now with our Whisper model selected, we can now transcribe audio. So that we're all working on the same page, we'll use a sample audio files for speech recognition from Kaggle. I'll leave a link in the description below. I've already got that downloaded. And in order to transcribe this, it's very easy. You just use the transcribe method. Result equals model transcribe harvard.wave, which is the name of the file. And I'll pass true to verbose so we can see the output and result text. And we'll see here, I made a typo, transcribe. And you can see that our audio is transcribed. It's that easy. Now let's dig into what each one of these segments look like. Type result segments. And you can see here the ID, start, seek, end, tokens, temperature, all of the various information that you might be curious about when analyzing segments. And if you wanted to iterate through these segments, it's very easy to do. You can just use enumerate. So for I, seg, and enumerate, result segments. Print i plus one, so we're not starting at zero, and seg text. And this will print out, well, I'm having a problem typing today, enumerate. There we go. So now you can see that we have six segments, and here's the text. And if you're not sure what enumerate does, it simply adds a counter to any iterable. Well, let's put this text into a data frame, because eventually we're going to want to apply a function across the rows to analyze the sentiment. So let's do that now. We'll first import pandas as PD, and then we'll get the speech equals PD data frame. We'll import pandas as PD, speech equals PD data frame from dict result, and we'll grab those segments. And then let's just see what that looks like. Perfect, and now we have our segments and the ID seek start everything that we saw above in columns. And that's how we'll prepare our data when doing sentiment analysis. But first, there's one final thing I wanted to cover before we jump into our mini project, and that is language detection. Detecting language, it's super simple. All we need to do is load the audio, trim it, and then use something called a MEL spectrogram. Let's see how it's done. Audio equals whisper, load audio, Again, harvard.wave, that's a file from Kaggle that we loaded previously. Audio equals whisper, pad or trim. Then we pad or trim the audio to prepare it. And now what we need to do is we need to use this thing called a MEL spectrogram. What we're doing is we're taking this audio and converting it into numbers. And a spectrogram is a way to do that. And then we convert that spectrogram back to the same device as our model. In my case, it's CUDA but let's walk through that. Mel equals whisper log mel spectrogram. Passing in our audio that was just padded or trimmed. Then to model device. And then now, whoops, now we want, now we can get the probabilities. Throw away the first variable. Probs equals model detect language. 
pass in the mail spectrogram, run that, assuming no errors. And then maybe the most challenging piece of code is actually sorting the results. So we use sorted probs, which is a dictionary, sort the items, p equals lambda, which creates anonymous function to sort it. Get the values in reverse because we want the highest probabilities first and then slice the first 10. Now we can see overwhelmingly that Whisper believes Harvard.Wave is English, which is indeed true. Now with the basics out of the way, it's time to start our earnings call mini project. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is get the Microsoft audio. I will put the link in the description below, or you can just follow along with this Jupyter note that will be linked on the website. One of the challenges is the earnings call doesn't start until roughly the 30 minute mark. We're gonna to have to trim that and extract the audio from the video. Let's go back and walk through this. Call this the earnings call mini project. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is pip install PyTube. I've already done that. I'm gonna comment that out. And then we'll need to import PyTube from PyTube, import YouTube. And this is what will allow us to download the audio. We'll just create a variable to store the YouTube URL, YouTube video URL. And now we can get the content using the YouTube object. So YouTube video content equals YouTube. And then pass in the URL, YouTube video URL. Now recall that this is both video and audio. So what we want to do is actually at the audio stream because we're not going to be transcribing video, right? That doesn't make any sense. Audio streams because there's multiple streams equals YouTube video content streams. And we want to filter for only audio. And then just so you understand what this looks like for stream in audio streams, print stream. There's actually multiple audio streams. We've got three of them here. I'll just select the middle one. No reason specifically audio stream equals audio streams one print audio stream. There we go. So now we have one audio stream in our audio stream variable. And now what we want to do is we want to trim it as recall earlier, there was what 30 minutes of introductory music. I'm going to use FFmpeg to do this. I want to see if I've got FFmpeg installed. I do. So I'm running Ubuntu and I have FFmpeg. If you don't have it installed, there's a lot of great content on the internet to help you. And here's the command for FFmpeg. I'm not going to run this because it takes a long time. But if you want the exact command, here it is. And I'll also have these commands in the Jupyter Notebook linked in the description. And now we're back to the transcribing. We've seen this before. Import whisper. We use the base model equals whisper load model base. I mean, technically we've already done that, so we wouldn't need to do it again. Result equals model transcribe earnings call Microsoft U4 2022 filtered mp4 result we want the text and we'll just take the first 400 characters and let's see if that works and we see that it did now we can take this text and summarize it using openai's gpt models i'll create a new section here called summarize whisper transcription and if you haven't checked it out already i've already created a full length youtube Tutorial is about an hour long on all the GPT models in DALI using OpenAI. It also can be found at that link for a tutorial. But basically, if this is the first time using GPT or text models, you can install OpenAI by pip install OpenAI. I'm not going to run that because I've already got it installed. And in this case, we actually do need an API key. So I'll import OS, import OpenAI. I'm going to use pandas import pandas as pd. I'm only doing this for people who skip directly to this section as I already loaded it above. And now to get the API key from the environment, we just use os get env a open AI API key and then pass that into open AI. So open AI API key equals API key. And that's all you need to do for authentication. And summarizing text is super easy. All we need to do is pass 
the text into the create method of OpenAI's completion and then give it the prompt to summarize or TLDR for short. So text equals result text 985 summary equals OpenAI completion create. The model we'll use will be the text DaVinci 003, which is their latest and greatest. But again, if you have questions on all the various models, check out my prior tutorial. DaVinci prompt equals the text, and then we just pass it too long to read. New line, new line escaped, TLDR. You can read more about that in the documentation if you want, but OpenAI's GPT DaVinci, understand what that means. Max tokens equal 200 because I want to pay a ton and we don't need to get creative temperature. Let's scroll down here so you can see it equals zero. And now I'll print the text. So print summary choices zero text. Looks like I meant to do a dash, not an equals. And let's see if this summarizes it. Now this looks great. It looks like a wonderful summary. Obviously there's some mistakes, Satya Nadella's name spelled incorrectly, but for a summary purpose, it's fantastic. Now let's use OpenAI's GPT-3 models to analyze the Whisper audio segments. Create a new heading, Whisper audio sentiment analysis using GPT-3. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a data frame and store those segments in there. I'll sample 20 of them because I don't wanna be spending all of my credits. So earnings call DF equals PD data frame from dict result the segments, which we saw earlier. And then I only want the text and then I'll sample 20 rows because I don't want all of the data. Earnings call DF equals earnings, earnings call df dot sample n equals 20. And then let's preview the results, earnings call df head. Now we see a data frame with the text and row ID. Now let's create a function to analyze the sentiment across each row. I'm gonna import regular expression so we can remove special characters from the response, def get sentiment text prompt text equals classify the sentiment of the following earnings call text as positive negative or neutral text and sentiment format and text all right now all we need to do to get the sentiment of this text is pass it to openai sentiment equals open AI completion create model equals text da Vinci 003 prompt equals prompt text max tokens equals 15 temperature equals zero. Now we just want to remove those special characters sentiment equals re sub. We just want the words pass it the text and return sentiment. Okay. Now let's test it by creating two strings, one with positive sentiment and one with negative sentiment. Text equals this year has been financially very profitable for us. Print get sentiment, pass in the text. Text equals we lost 50% of our assets this year and we may go bankrupt. That's not just negative, that's ultra negative. Print get sentiment text, and we should see positive and negative or a typo. Let's go back up here, fix that, run it again, positive and negative. Fantastic. So now that we assume that our sentiment function is working, we can just apply it across each row. Earnings call DF sentiment equals earnings call DF text, reply get sentiment. This simply applies get sentiment for all of the text and passes the result into sentiment. And let's preview the results. Earnings call DF head. And it looks like that worked. And this is great, but it's hard to really understand what the sentiment looks like. We could count the numbers or what I prefer is to plot them. 
So let's do that. We can type pip install seaborn. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to actually install it. Now we'll import seaborn, import seaborn as SNS, which is conventional SNS set style. I'm just setting it up to make it look a little bit nicer. Start grid SNS set RC figure fig size 10, seven. SNS set context poster. Now I'll print out the value counts and then plot it. Print earnings call DF sentiment value counts. SNS count plot X is sentiment data equals earnings earnings call DF. And now you can see that we have 15 neutral, four positive and one negative. And this might get a lot more interesting if we sample more than 20, but you get the idea. But there's a problem with this. Have you figured it out yet? Sentences are arbitrarily cut because the segments are fixed length. What we really wanna do is we want to split up our text on the periods and not use the default transcription segments. And this is really easy to do. Type segments equals result text. We will split based on the period and we'll use this comprehension segments equals segment plus period for segment and segments. And we'll see what the length of that is. Obviously I misspelled that there. Segments, print length segments. So I have 312 of them. And let's just see what that looks like. Segments, and we'll just take the first five. And now you can see that each sentence is now a segment. And now we're just gonna run through the same process. We're gonna create a data frame for the new segments. Earnings call DF custom, I'll call it. PD data frame segments columns equals text earnings call DF custom. Head. And now we should see a row for each sentence. And this time, why don't we sample, I don't know, 40. So earnings call DF custom equals earnings. Well, I don't, you know what? I don't want to destroy it here. Earnings call DF custom equals earnings call DF custom sample and equals 40. Earnings call DF custom sentiment equals earnings call DF custom text. Apply our sentiment function. Earnings call DF custom head and see if that all get sentiment. And we see that it did figure out the sentiment for all of that text. And one more time, print earnings call DF custom sentiment value counts to see what we're working with now. And we'll plot it. SNS count plot X sentiment. Could have just copied and pasted from above, but that's okay. Data equals earnings call DF custom. Let's see what we get. Lots of neutral and mostly positive. So it appears that was a good earnings call for Microsoft. And that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You now are able to take any audio, transcribe it, analyze the sentiment, summarize it. Pretty much you're a whisper master. If you like this video, please hit a thumbs up and I'd love to see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.